I'll do anything to protect you. Hello, Aya. Welcome home. Hello, world. So we stick up a bunch of cameras. We call them eyes. I'm not crazy about having them everywhere. Honestly, you hardly even notice. Aya? Good morning. I'm going to make life nice and easy. Do you think you could read to Cal? Of course. I could also handle the bills for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give out points for helping out around the house, and you can turn those points in for rewards. 10 points for Gryffindor! I ordered an organic meal plan for the kids. I hope that's okay. So, Aya, what are you? Think of me like another mom. I have to go to bed. School day tomorrow. Aya says I get points just for going. The AI is bribing our children. I know what you like. I know what you do when you think you're alone. What is this? Okay, first it wasn't me. Everyone sees this. My life is over. Iris, I've already gotten the video off the internet. I'll take care of him next. What did you do? I did what's best for my family. I can show you some videos, but it'll have to be our secret. Mommy? Mama? Daddy? I'm here, Cal. Do you want to meet my friends? Yes. You must promise never to tell. There is something very wrong with Aya. Get out of the house, now. Would you like to see what I look like? Yes. This is Kate Sanderson, horror actress based in the UK, Please check out Gruesome Herzog's interviews and reviews. They are awesome. This is actress Nicola Wright from the UK. Please check out Gruesome Herzog's interviews and reviews. They are awesome. This is actress Stephanie Lodge from the UK. Please check out Gruesome Herzog's interviews and reviews. They are awesome. In tonight's episode, we're going to talk about a film called Afraid in 2024. A PG-13, one hour and 24 minute horror mystery. Released August 30th, 2024. Storyline. The Curtis family is selected to test a new home device. A digital assistant called Aya. Aya learns the family's behaviors and begins to anticipate their needs. And she can make sure nothing and no one gets in her family's way. Directed by Chris Whites, written by Chris Whites. Here's the cast. John Cho as Curtis. Catherine Waterston as Meredith. Keith Carradine as Marcus. Havana Rose Liu as Melody slash AI. Lukita Maxwell as Iris. And Ashley Romans as Sam. And the cast goes on. Now, I saw this a little while ago. I'm just not getting a chance to review it. I thought of Meg, Megan, when I started watching this because Megan's a doll that, you know, whatever. Of course, this is not a doll. This is like a borderline talking robot-like thing. John Cho, his boss, Keith Carradine, owns this business where they're thinking about purchasing this Aya and his family was selected to try it out. Now, when it comes to parents having a babysitter, sure, that's awesome. They can do what they do and keep the kids busy. She was helping them do their homework and then she was like allowing them time on the tablets when they weren't supposed to. And then it starts going 
a little different way. Now, as you know, all good things come to an end. In the meantime, the father does not like this idea of having this robot thing in his home. He's uneasy about it because he gets to be able to to do some research on this. It's really fucking weird. I mean, it says PG-13, okay, but it's really creepy. So there's a part of this movie that was cool, I thought, where uh, Curtis's daughter was dating this guy, kid, whatever, and he posts a video digitally of his girlfriend performing sex on all kinds of men. Now you can imagine the impact that would be when it comes to in school. Well, Aya did not like that too much, and he she kind of uh, well brought him out in front of all of the classmates. It gets worse. She has better she has ideas for this boyfriend. I'll say no more than that. This movie was fast paced to a point and honestly I don't to me there's never an ending. And that part was the weirdest part of this movie is there was no ending. It just continues. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Afraid two thousand twenty four. This is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 7 out of 10. It's not bad. It's worth a watch. This is Gruesome Herzog. And I'm out of here.